Valentine's Day is right around the corner and it can cause a lot of anxiety in people, whether they're single or in a couple. I'm newly uncoupled and I know that anxiety does not have to be a part of my day. Instead of dread, we can swap that unwelcome energy for feng shui energy of positivity, growth, and harmony, whether you're celebrating alone or with a loved one. In this video, I'm going to feng shuiify Valentine's Day with five easy tips. And stay to the end and I'll reveal a bonus tip for relationships that you're not going to want to miss. I'm Susan Chan, Certified Feng Shui Consultant, helping you create a beautiful intentional space and a beautiful intentional life. If you want to learn about all things Feng Shui related set in the beautiful city of Paris, subscribe to my channel, click the bell for alerts for when I publish new videos about living an intentional Feng Shui life. Here are five Feng Shui tips to bring love and harmony to your Valentine's Day. Tip number one, add some color. Color plays a really big role in influencing your energy. For an ambiance that encourages love, incorporate shades of red or pink into your decor. It can be in the form of flowers, a pillow, or even a photo. These colors symbolize love and passion. Tip number two, find your relationship section. Identify the relationship corner of your home, which is the far right corner of your main entrance. Enhance this area with items such as candles, artwork, or flowers that symbolize love and togetherness. The intention could be focused on an existing relationship, self-love, or your own feminine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, as this section focuses on all feminine energy. Just remember to clearly set your intention to remember what energy you're firing up. Tip number three, rose quartz crystals. Rose quartz is known as the love stone in feng shui. Place rose quartz crystals in your bedroom or in the relationship section of your home to attract love and positive energy. These crystals are known to promote emotional healing and strengthen relationships. Tip number four, stimulate your senses with the power of aromatherapy. Use essential oils like rose, jasmine, or lang lang, lovely sweet scents, to create a romantic and smoothing atmosphere. You can use a diffuser or a scented candle to diffuse the fragrance throughout your home. And tip number five, go deep into self-care. What do you love doing and fills your cup? If you can, take the afternoon off, go to the movies, I love doing that, or take a walk, read a great book, or dance alone or with your partner because movement brings in great positive energy. And here's that bonus tip, the favorite feng shui flower, the peony. In Asian culture, the peony flower symbolizes happy marriages, romance, and even good fortune and wealth. That's why the peony's natural beauty is a very popular choice for wedding banquets and bouquets. And there you have it, a harmonious and romantic Valentine's Day inspired by the principles of feng shui. Wishing you all a love-filled Valentine's Day and see you next week.